let's pick up where we left off and talk about geometry keyboard shortcuts. Okay, let's go in here. Everybody knows the B key. Hit the B key and click to activate it. It activates the bevel tool. Okay. Actually, it's the edge bevel and the uh, shift B is the polygon bevel, but most of the time you won't tell much of a difference. Okay, and then there's Alt B, as in boy, is the sketch extrude. So you hit Alt B, click on the polygon, and you get that little um, blue dot there, and I can just sketch extrude this freehand. If I can pull it out, bring it up, down, just it's going to follow the path of my sketch. Okay, that's what that does. Alt B. Then there's the regular extrude tool. Pick your polygon, hit the X key, click, and you get the extrude function. Okay, if you hold the if you hold the shift key and click again, it reactivates the tool. And as you can see, I can extrude again. It leaves a little mark there. If I shift click again, it'll do it again. You see? So shift click and just reactivates your tool. Alright. Okay, now we got the C key, which is the edge slice tool. I can go in here and select my edge. You see it highlights my edge, and I can click, and it puts that little point on my edge, and I can slice between edges. Okay. Like so. That's the, um, the C key, as in um, copy. Okay. Then there's the poly knife tool, which is shift C. Shift C gives us the poly knife tool, and I can go in and um, sl just slice it. With this, it's like the slice tool actually. You see, uh, now as you can see, I'm putting this cut right through there. Okay. And as you can see, the slice tool is activated. And now I'm just using this plane to make this slice all the way across the top here. If I want to maybe cut down this way, I can hit the Shift C key and cut right down through there. And you can see it gives me that cut there. Okay. That's Shift C. Now there is the, let's see, what else? Let me think. That's the poly knife. Then there's the loop slice, which is you, sli you select the loop in the direction you want to slice and hit alternate C. And it will slice your loop for you. Okay. Alt C, loop slice. Then there's edge extend, which is you select an edge. And you hit the Z key. And you can extend your edge up. Just the edge, as you can see. It didn't extended that edge out. That's the Z key. Um, element move is the T key, which is like um, you hit the T key and you can go in, pick a corner, or you can pick the edge, or you can move the polygon. It's really up to you. It's like a freehand drag tool, you know? It don't, you don't have to go into separate vert, edge, and polygon mode when you're in element move. You can pick anything. That's the, that's the T key. Okay, um, you want to convert your polygons to triangles for a game engine? Well, select the polygon you want and then hit shift T. T as in triangle. And you can see that there that tried my, my polygons up for me. Okay, shift T. Um, the Y key, here's a, thinking of the T key, I've seen the Y key there. That's the transform, which will let you move rotate and scale all with the same tool that's the YT key then we have the let's, let me get rid of some of these meshes just to clean up over here so you all won't get confused okay what else can we do here let's see mm, let me get another cube let me demonstrate a few other tools Um, what is the, the bin tool is control E let me get rid of this so if I go in here and hit control E activate my bin tool you can see I get my bin tool here okay I can move it around bring it over here it's interactive of course you can picture a finger flex somebody flexing a finger or bending a finger in Okay, that's the bend tool, control E. Then there's the smooth, which is shift S. 
and I click and drag you can see that it smooths that out now it's all tight and the corners are sharp but I click and drag it smooths those corners out you know that's the smooth tool or the shift s then there's the let's go to edge mode then there's the edge spin which is the V key and you can see it twisted that edge right around there it just spins the edge so if you need to line up some edges or line up your geometry you just hit the V key and it spins it for you what else is there there's the F key which will flip your polygons as you can see now I can't see it ah oh, what happened to my polygon where'd it go well there it is it just flipped around hit the F key and it flips it around tab key smooths your mesh out um, shift V mirrors your, your um, geometry and um, that's it for now we'll cover the more in the next video